Captain Alex Hunter, a seasoned space explorer, was on a routine mission when he received a distress signal from an uncharted planet in a remote sector of the galaxy. Curiosity and a sense of duty led him to alter his course and investigate. Upon landing, he found himself in a dense forest, the source of the signal nearby. Following the signal, Alex stumbled upon an ancient, dilapidated structure hidden among the trees. Inside, he found two young alien women chained to the walls, their eyes filled with a mixture of fear and hope. Their appearance was striking, each with unique, otherworldly beauty that took Alex's breath away. Who are you? Alex asked gently, approaching them. My name is Zura, said the first, her voice trembling. And this is Nira. We've been enslaved here for as long as we can remember. Why? Who did this to you? Alex's voice was filled with concern. Our captors believe in an ancient prophecy, Nira explained, her eyes pleading. They think that if we mate with a human male, it will break the curse that binds us here. But no human has ever come to this planet. Until you. Alex's mind raced as he processed their words. He knew he couldn't leave them in this dire situation. The ancient structure had clearly been designed to hold them, and there was no telling what dangers awaited if they remained. I won't leave you here, Alex said resolutely. But we need to figure out how to get you free. Zura and Nira exchanged glances before Zura spoke again. The curse is bound to this place. We must mate with a human to break it. Only then can we be free. Alex felt a mix of emotions, compassion for their plight, determination to help, and an unexpected attraction to these beautiful alien women. I promise to do everything I can to help you, but we need to do this carefully. The women nodded, their trust in Alex growing. They discussed their plan, knowing that once the curse was broken, they would still need to escape the planet and the clutches of their captors. As they prepared to break the curse, Alex made sure Zura and Nira were as comfortable as possible. He set up a makeshift camp inside the structure, providing food and medical supplies from his ship. The atmosphere was tense but hopeful. Zura and Nira shared more about their lives before captivity, their dreams, and the world they had once known. Alex listened intently, his resolve to free them strengthening with each story. The first night was filled with nervous anticipation. Alex and the women discussed how to proceed ensuring that they were all comfortable and consenting. Despite the strange circumstances, a bond began to form between them, built on mutual respect and a shared goal. As the days passed, Alex, Zura, and Nira grew closer. They took their time, learning about each other and building trust. The bond between them became not just a necessity, but something more profound, a genuine connection. One evening, under the light of the planet's two moons, they decided to proceed with the ritual to break the curse. The atmosphere was both solemn and intimate, filled with the weight of their shared purpose and the growing affection between them. The ancient structure seemed to hum with power as they began the ritual. Alex could feel the energy in the air, a strange mix of anticipation and tension. Zura and Nira stood before him, their expressions a blend of determination and hope. Are you ready? Alex asked, his voice steady despite the gravity of the situation. Zura and Nira nodded in unison. We're ready, Zura said softly. The ritual was intricate and deeply personal, requiring not just physical connection but an emotional bond as well. As they went through the steps, Alex could feel the curse's grip weakening. The ancient structure seemed to pulse with their combined energy, the chains that bound Zura and Nira beginning to glow faintly. Throughout the process, Alex remained focused on Zura and Nira, ensuring their comfort and safety. He could see the trust and gratitude in their eyes, strengthening his resolve to free them. As the ritual reached its climax, a strange energy filled the air. The ancient structure seemed to vibrate with power, and the chains that bound Zura and Nira began to glow brighter. Moments later, the chains shattered, and a burst of light engulfed them. When the light faded, Zura and Nira were free. Tears of joy and relief streamed down their faces as they embraced Alex, their gratitude and affection overflowing. We did it, Nira whispered, her voice filled with awe. Zura nodded, tears in her eyes. We're finally free. Thank you, Alex. Alex smiled, his heart swelling with happiness. It was a team effort. I'm just glad you're both safe. Their celebration was cut short by the realization that their captors could return at any moment. 
They needed to leave the ancient structure and make their way to Alex's ship as quickly as possible. Using his knowledge of the terrain and the technology at his disposal, Alex mapped out a route to his ship. Zura and Nira, now free but still wary, followed his lead, trusting him to guide them to safety. The journey to the ship was fraught with danger. They encountered wild creatures and traps set by their captors, but Alex's quick thinking and the women's resilience saw them through each challenge. As they neared the ship, hope began to blossom. However, their relief was short-lived as the sound of approaching footsteps echoed through the forest. Their captors had realized the curse was broken and were closing in on them. Alex, Zura, and Nira prepared to face this final obstacle together, determined to secure their freedom once and for all. As they reached the clearing where Alex's ship was hidden, their captors emerged from the forest, their faces twisted with anger and determination. The group of aliens was armed and clearly enraged that their prized captives had escaped. We can't let them take us back, Nira said, fear and determination in her eyes. Alex stood his ground, ready to protect Zura and Nira at all costs. Stay behind me. We'll get through this together. The captors, led by a menacing figure named Grak, stepped forward, weapons drawn. You think you can just take what belongs to us? Grak snarled. Those women are ours by right. They are not property, Alex retorted, his voice firm. They are free beings, and they're coming with me. Grak sneered, signaling his men to attack. A fierce battle ensued. Alex, using his advanced weaponry and combat skills, fought bravely against the captors. Zura and Nira, no longer helpless, used their knowledge of the environment to assist, setting traps and distracting their enemies. Despite being outnumbered, their combined efforts paid off. Alex's strategic thinking and the women's resourcefulness allowed them to gain the upper hand. They managed to disable Grak and his men, securing a path to the ship. With their captors incapacitated, Alex, Zura, and Nira quickly boarded the ship. Alex initiated the launch sequence, and the ship lifted off, leaving the planet that had been their prison behind. As they ascended into space, a sense of relief washed over them. Zura and Nira looked out the viewport tears of joy streaming down their faces. We're free, Zura whispered, her voice filled with wonder. Nira nodded, turning to Alex with a grateful smile. Thank you, Alex. We owe you our lives. Alex shook his head, his expression warm. You don't owe me anything. We did this together. As they traveled to a nearby space station where they could rest and recover, the bond between Alex, Zura, and Nira grew even stronger. They spent their time sharing stories and planning their future, no longer bound by the past. At the space station, Alex used his connections to secure medical treatment and resources for Zura and Nira. They underwent thorough medical examinations to ensure the curse had left no lasting effects. The relief of being safe and healthy allowed them to fully embrace their new lives. As they settled into their new surroundings, Zura and Nira started to explore their newfound freedom. They marveled at the bustling activity of the space station, the diversity of its inhabitants, and the opportunities it presented. Alex, seeing their wonder, felt a deep sense of fulfillment. He had not only saved them, but had given them a chance to live freely. He made sure they had everything they needed to start anew. One evening, as they sat together in their quarters, Zura spoke up. Alex, you've given us so much. We can't imagine our lives without you now. Alex took her hand his eyes filled with warmth, and I can't imagine my life without you both. We've been through so much together and I want to be with you wherever that takes us. Their bond, forged in the fires of adversity, had grown into something beautiful and unbreakable. As they looked toward the future, they knew that together, they could face whatever challenges lay ahead. Life on the space station was a new and exciting experience for Zura and Nira. The bustling hub of activity was a stark contrast to the desolate planet they had been imprisoned on. They explored the various shops, markets, and entertainment venues, marveling at the diversity of life and culture. Alex was always by their side, guiding them and helping them acclimate to their new surroundings. Their relationship deepened as they spent more time together. Alex found himself increasingly captivated by Zura's quiet strength and Nira's vivacious spirit. In turn, the women admired Alex's unwavering determination and compassionate heart. One evening, after a particularly enjoyable day of exploring, the trio returned to their quarters. As they settled in, 
Alex felt an overwhelming sense of peace and happiness. He looked at Zura and Nira, who were chatting animatedly about their adventures. You two have brought so much joy into my life, Alex said, his voice filled with emotion. I never imagined I'd find such wonderful companions. Zura smiled warmly, her eyes sparkling with affection. And you've given us hope and a future, Alex. We're so grateful for you. Nira nodded, her expression serious. We've become more than just friends, Alex. We've become a family. Their words touched Alex deeply. He realized that his feelings for Zura and Nira had grown into something profound and lasting. They had formed a bond that went beyond friendship, a connection that was both romantic and deeply emotional. Their peaceful existence was disrupted when news of their escape reached the wider galaxy. The remnants of their captors' faction were determined to recapture Zura and Nira, seeing them as valuable assets. Alex, Zura, and Nira knew they couldn't stay on the space station indefinitely. They had to find a way to ensure their safety and build a future where they could live without fear. With the help of allies they had made on the station, they devised a plan to expose the faction's criminal activities to the Galactic Council. It was a risky move, but it was their best chance at securing lasting freedom. The plan involved gathering evidence of the faction's crimes and presenting it to the Galactic Council. Alex and his companions worked tirelessly, using their skills and resources to uncover hidden information and secure testimonies from other victims. Their efforts culminated in a daring mission to infiltrate the faction's headquarters and retrieve crucial documents. The mission was dangerous, but they were determined to see it through. Alex, Zura, and Nira faced numerous obstacles, including heavily armed guards and sophisticated security systems. However, their determination and teamwork allowed them to succeed. They managed to disable the guards, navigate through the complex's intricate layout, and finally reach the main office where the documents were stored. In a climactic moment, they retrieved the evidence and made their way back to the space station. The journey was perilous, with the faction's forces hot on their trail, but their combined efforts and the support of their allies ensured their safe return. Back on the space station, they prepared for the hearing with the Galactic Council. The evidence they had gathered was comprehensive and damning, detailing the faction's enslavement and exploitation of countless beings across the galaxy. As the day of the hearing approached, Alex, Zura, and Nira felt a mixture of anticipation and anxiety. They knew that this was their chance to secure lasting freedom and justice, not just for themselves, but for all those who had suffered under the faction's rule. Their bond, strengthened by their shared experiences and challenges, gave them the courage to face whatever lay ahead. They were ready to stand before the Galactic Council and fight for their future, confident in the knowledge that they had each other's support. With the day of the hearing approaching, Alex, Zura, and Nira knew they had to ensure their case was airtight. They spent long hours meticulously organizing the evidence they had collected, crafting their testimonies, and rehearsing their presentation. The support from their allies on the space station was invaluable, providing additional resources and expertise to bolster their case. Zura and Nira were nervous but resolute. They knew that their testimony could help dismantle the faction and prevent others from suffering the same fate they had endured. Alex, ever the supportive presence, encouraged them to be strong and honest. We've come so far, Alex said one evening as they reviewed their materials. This is our chance to make a real difference. Just remember to speak from the heart. On the day of the hearing, the trio stood outside the Galactic Council chamber, their hearts pounding with anticipation. The chamber was a grand, imposing structure, filled with representatives from various planets and species. As they entered, the room fell silent, all eyes turning to them. The hearing began with a presentation of the evidence. Alex, Zura, and Nira spoke passionately about their experiences detailing the horrors they had endured and the criminal activities of the faction. Their words were powerful, their sincerity undeniable. The Galactic Council listened intently as Alex, Zura, and Nira presented their case. The evidence was overwhelming, and their testimonies were heartfelt and moving. The representatives were visibly moved by their story, the room filled with a palpable sense of empathy and outrage. As the hearing progressed, the faction's leaders, brought in under heavy guard, attempted to defend their actions. Their arguments were weak and quickly dismantled by the solid evidence and compelling testimonies provided by Alex and his companions. 
Zura and Nira's voices rang clear and strong as they recounted their ordeal, their bravery and resilience shining through. They spoke not just for themselves, but for all those who had suffered under the faction's rule. We stand here today not just for our freedom, Zura said, her voice unwavering, but for the freedom of countless others who have been oppressed and enslaved. We ask for justice not just for ourselves, but for all who cannot speak for themselves. Nira added, We've endured unimaginable pain and suffering, but we have also found strength and hope. With the help of Alex and our allies, we've come to realize that we are not alone. We are stronger together, and we will fight for a future where no one has to endure what we did. The room erupted in applause as they finished their testimonies. The Galactic Council members conferred for a short time before returning with their verdict. We have heard your testimonies and reviewed the evidence, the head of the council announced. The actions of the faction are abhorrent and cannot go unpunished. The Galactic Council hereby disbands the faction and orders the immediate arrest of its leaders. Furthermore, we will establish a fund to support the rehabilitation and reintegration of all victims of the faction's crimes. Relief and joy washed over Alex, Zura, and Nira. Their hard work and determination had paid off, justice had been served, and their future was now bright and filled with possibilities. As they left the council chamber, their allies and supporters congratulated them. The weight of their past struggles seemed to lift, replaced by a sense of hope and anticipation for what lay ahead. We did it, Alex said, his voice filled with pride. Together we made a difference. Zura and Nira smiled, their eyes shining with gratitude and love. We couldn't have done it without you, Alex, Zura said softly. Nira nodded. You've given us a future, and we want you to be a part of it. Their bond, forged in adversity and strengthened by their shared triumphs, was unbreakable. As they looked towards the future, they knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, united by their love and determination. With the threat of the faction eliminated, Alex, Zura, and Nira could finally focus on building a new life together. They decided to leave the bustling space station and settle on a peaceful planet where they could start fresh. They chose a lush green world on the outskirts of known space, far from the chaos and dangers they had faced. The journey to their new home was filled with excitement and anticipation. As they approached the planet, Zura and Nira marveled at its beauty. The ship descended through the atmosphere, revealing vast forests, sparkling rivers, and rolling hills. It was a perfect place for a new beginning. Upon landing, they set to work building a home. Alex, with his technical skills and resourcefulness, constructed a comfortable dwelling nestled among the trees. Zura and Nira, eager to contribute, used their knowledge of agriculture and healing to plant gardens and create a peaceful, nurturing environment. Their days were filled with hard work and simple joys. They explored the planet, discovering its wonders and forming a deep connection with their new home. At night, they would sit around a fire, sharing stories and dreams, their bond growing ever stronger. One evening, as they watched the sunset over the horizon, Alex turned to Zura and Nira, his heart full. This place feels like a dream, he said softly. I never imagined we'd find such peace and happiness. Zura smiled, her eyes filled with love. It's more than just a place, Alex. It's the life we've built together. Nira nodded, her expression serious but warm. We face so many challenges, but we've come through stronger. This is our home now, and we'll protect it and each other. As the years passed, Alex, Zura, and Nira's love only grew stronger. They became respected members of their new community, their story inspiring others to value freedom and compassion. They worked tirelessly to ensure their world remained a haven of peace and harmony. Their home became a sanctuary for others seeking refuge from conflict and oppression. They opened their doors to those in need, offering shelter, support, and a chance to rebuild their lives. The community they fostered was one of mutual respect and shared purpose. One day as they walked through their thriving gardens, Alex felt a deep sense of fulfillment. We've created something truly special here, he said, his voice filled with pride. Zura and Nira smiled, their hearts full of gratitude. We couldn't have done it without you, Alex, Zura said softly. You brought us hope and showed us what it means to be truly free. Nira added, you've given us more than just a home you've given us a family. Their bond, tested and proven by adversity, had become unbreakable. They knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, 
united by their love and commitment to each other and their community. As they stood together, watching the sun set over their peaceful home, Alex took Zura and Nira's hands. We've come so far and our journey is just beginning, he said. Together we can face anything. Zura smiled, her eyes shining with love. We're exactly where we're meant to be. Nira nodded, her heart full. Together, always. And so their journey continued, their love and dedication lighting the way to an even brighter future. Their story, filled with challenges and triumphs, would inspire countless others to believe in the power of compassion, resilience, and the strength of the human spirit. Years had passed since Alex, Zura, and Nira had settled on their peaceful planet, creating a thriving community of people who valued freedom, compassion, and mutual respect. Their home had become a sanctuary for those fleeing conflict and oppression, and their lives were filled with purpose and joy. One day, an unexpected visitor arrived. A sleek, unfamiliar spaceship landed near their settlement, and from it emerged a delegation from the Galactic Council. Among them was a stern-faced official named Tarek. We've heard of your community's remarkable growth and resilience, Tarek said, addressing Alex, Zura, and Nira. The Galactic Council wishes to extend an offer of alliance and support, but there are new challenges facing the galaxy. We need your help. The news was unsettling. While they had found peace on their planet, the galaxy beyond was still fraught with turmoil. Pirate factions and rogue elements had risen in the power vacuum left by the downfall of their former captors, and the Council needed strong, principled leaders to help restore order and justice. We can't ignore this call for help, Alex said, his voice resolute. We've built something special here, but we also have a responsibility to ensure that others can experience the same peace and freedom. Zura and Nira agreed their expressions determined. We can't turn our backs on those in need, Zura said. We'll help in any way we can. Accepting the council's request, Alex, Zura, and Nira began preparations to join the efforts to bring stability to the galaxy. They knew this would mean leaving the safety of their home for extended periods, but their commitment to justice and freedom was unwavering. Their community supported their decision, understanding the importance of their mission. The inhabitants who had benefited so much from Alex, Zura, and Nira's leadership pledged to continue their work and keep the settlement thriving in their absence. Before departing, Alex addressed the community. We've built something beautiful here, and it's our duty to protect it. But our responsibility extends beyond these borders. Together we'll create a better future for everyone in the galaxy. With the community's blessings, Alex, Zura, and Nira boarded their ship and set off on their new mission. Their journey took them to various planets where they used their skills and knowledge to aid in rebuilding efforts, mediate conflicts, and provide support to those in need. Despite the challenges, their bond remained strong. They faced each new situation with the same determination and unity that had seen them through their darkest days. Their love and trust in each other became a beacon of hope for those they encountered, inspiring others to believe in the possibility of a brighter future. As they traveled from one mission to the next, Alex often reflected on how far they had come. From the moment he had discovered Zura and Nira in that ancient, dilapidated structure to their current roles as leaders and advocates for peace, their journey had been extraordinary. One evening, as they sat together under the stars of a distant planet, Alex took Zura and Nira's hands. We've accomplished so much, and there's still so much more to do, he said. But no matter where our journey takes us, I know we'll always have each other. Zura smiled, her eyes filled with love. Together we've changed the world. Nira nodded, her heart full. And we'll continue to do so for as long as it takes. Their journey was far from over, but they faced the future with courage and optimism. United by their love and shared purpose, Alex, Zura, and Nira knew they could overcome any challenge and help create a galaxy where peace, justice, and freedom prevailed for all.